Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, what's going on? This is Aaron Hilliard. Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. I'm standing out here by this little burn, this little undisclosed fire that happened, and it's spring, and it's March. It's um, the last third of March. And we're gonna go out here and try to find some morels that may have popped up due to this forest fire that happened on this um, tree farm uh, last year in 2023. So let's go over there uh, with my wife and puppy. We're gonna see if we can find some morels. How fun. These little cups right here are ASCOs. These are a good sign of morels in the area. So this is a pretty harshly burned area. And they've actually planted um, a lot of new trees, but I'm seeing a lot of these little ASCO cups. These are a great sign that fungi is here. This is a really a nutrient rich soil. And I think we are in the right kind of area. What I'm looking for is this area over here where there's still kind of some needles on the trees. It's not burned too badly. I call that the red needle burn. Where the needles are still hanging up on the trees. Check that out. Here's another kind of cup fungi. These ones um, in the Pizzizi alleys, more cups. So I'm seeing more and more of these ASCO cups. They all like the burn stuff. See that? These are all good signs. And I see my first morels of the day. Would you look right here? Beautiful. This is in March. Um, growing. Oh, look at this baby gray right there. Look how nice and healthy these are. They just came up in the last couple of days. Wonderful. So I'm going to cut these off to keep the sand and stuff out of the basket. Foraging knife. I'll put a link for this in the description. But nice and clean. And, uh, you know, we got a little baby there, a little baby here. I might leave these little tiny babies behind. That was, uh, we've been out here about like eight minutes. And uh, we'll keep looking. So being that these morels are pretty like tan colored, um, it can be kind of hard to spot them in all these tan colored pine needles. But uh, these trees, these older trees that are burned, I think are probably a really good idea to look around these. Some things about walking in burned areas is you want to have good ankle support. Sometimes there's like little burned out crevices that fall through when you're stepping on them. So good gear is essential. Wearing nice boots or shoes or something. And things that you're not worried about getting dirty because it is so dirty out here. It is just uh, all soot and dirt. But you know, this, this isn't a secret spot. It's just right on the side of a main road. And so people have been coming here every day for weeks already I'm sure so trying to get off the main beaten path is probably a good idea but even then you know mushrooms have a way of just popping up out of nowhere seemingly so even though somebody might have walked through here in the last couple of days there could be new ones that have came up it's super early in the season I'm surprised that we have found any at all so far just a huge amount of different fungi popping up in this area. See these dark stems, white gills, probably marasmius. And uh, you know, see all these paziza, all these cup fungi. It's really good sign. Man, there is just a ton of the cup fungi here. So we're right in the right stuff. Sometimes it just takes patience and persistence and a lot of hiking. There's one. Here's one. Here's one. I can't see him anymore. Can't see him. Find it. Find it, buddy. Where is it? There's one. There's one. There's one. 
There's one. Yeah, so we just found this nice little honey hole in here where she is with the dog. There's kind of this low underbrush. And these trees are pretty well burned, but you can see the ground cover coming back. We're in the perfect habitat. We just got to find the right little, right little spot where people haven't picked yet. Here's another nice one. Pretty well matured. See that? Beautiful. Okay, here's a few more. And I'm telling you, they're just starting to come up. Here's a nice one. This one's pickable for sure. But uh, see in here, really nice young ones. Just leave that there for somebody later. Let it get some spores out, but yeah, they're out here in March. That is just so cool. Look at that big old boy. Nice, look at that. So they start out looking kind of blondish. This one's got speckling, it's sort of calico, right? Actually, they start out very gray, and then they'll turn this color, but see a very young one, and then even an older one. It looks like a lot of different types of morels, but I'm pretty sure they're the same species. Um, maybe sextilata? I'm not really exactly sure on this species, but finding a good haul here in March There's probably 50 morels in here yep here's another one and you can see it growing amongst all of these little cups these little cup fungi are yeah, that one's pretty young but it'll be tasty so, having luck in March in Western Washington which is crazy to be finding burn morels in Western Washington this early they're nice big one Beautiful. I thought I had seen another one. So they really blend in good. Oh yeah. Right there. Oh my god. Okay, it's just really blending in. Oh. It's got flies on it. Beautiful. Oh yeah, nice baby. We got good timing. They're just coming up. So here's what we've got so far. This is in about an hour of picking, but I want to show you what one of these morels look like when we cut it open. You can see it is hollow inside. True Morcella going to be hollow inside. Sometimes the stem can be full of craziness. Wow, look at all the bugs in there. That is Narnar. So eat that at your own discretion. But um, sometimes it'll be a little crowded down here. These are little baby springtails in here. That uh, is pretty wild. But uh, that's where drying them comes in handy. You could dry these out and then rehydrate them. The bugs will die and go away when you dry them. One thing really unusual about this area that we're picking in, it's almost all oak, which is really kind of rare as far as the West Puget Sound goes. But this area is a big stand of oak and there's oak leaves everywhere. It's a really different kind of forest than I'm used to. Um, but seems to be a good morel produ producer. All right, so right here I found uh, one of I haven't found any more of these, but look at that. This one is your false morel, Gyromitra esculenta clade. Uh, probably not the same one that grows in Europe, but this is a false morel. This is a true morel. Can you get those two confused? I mean, this one doesn't have any pits or any actual like holes or penetrations in it. It's just very wrinkled up cap. This one. Clearly different. So there's your difference. Gyromitra esculenta, poisonous. Um, and this one, Morcella sextilata, edible when cooked. Um, I guess you can you can cook these 
uh, if you boil them a couple times and then and then cook them as usual and you know they're probably okay to eat that way but why risk it people have been known to die from eating these garamitra esculenta but marcella generally safe when cooked so it's a good comparison of the two different mushrooms growing here in the same burn area as each other so nice seen a lot of these this is the schizophyllum communi this one really looks like frosty or something really cool and then when we look underneath it's gonna have gills see that look at that these are known as split gills schizophyllum these are said to have 35,000 plus compatible mating genders so talk about um, you know your equal opportunity uh, fungi that can mate with so many different um, types of schizophyllum. So these are really common in this burn area and they're just really cool when you flip them over. Commonly known as a split gill. So in Langdon Cook's book, The uh, Mushroom Hunters, he talks about the red needle burn. So here we are in an area of red needle burn. The dog's running up in there. But also this is close to the road, so it's probably been scoured through a lot. And the trees are young. Which, I don't know, I don't know if that makes a huge of a difference, but uh, we're going to come into this red needle burn and cross our fingers. Alright, so we've had a pretty good day out here in the woods. You know, found probably three pounds of morels as well as the false morel, the Gyromitra esculenta. But all kinds of shapes and sizes of morels. And keep in mind, this is uh, the third week in March. So it's unusually early to be finding morels, but we're here in this burn area. And so if you've got a burn somewhere near you, you know, go look around. Um, some of the tips that I found for finding them is it seems that these were growing uh, around the larger trees where there was also a little bit of greenery growing on the ground. So the areas that are just completely charred black or brown didn't seem to have a lot of luck, but th these were growing amongst uh, little plants and stuff that were starting to pop up. And so, yeah, these got a lot of bugs in them um, for even for how young they are. They're kind of buggy and sometimes just environmental factors will do that. So we're going to take these home and probably soak them in some cold salt water. Let the bugs kind of crawl out of them and then you could dry them. If there's any leftover bugs, then they'll crawl out and you'll find those at the bottom of the dehydrator. So these morels are extra wormy, so I'm going to make some salt water. <clears throat> and I'm going to soak them in cold salt water and then dehydrate them. Get all the bugs dead and out of them. I put concentrated salt water in with cold water so it's cold and it doesn't cook the mushrooms. All right, we got 72 fairly buggy morels today, but a good haul for two hours. Uh, so it's paying off to go into the burns, find yourself some edible mushrooms this spring. And uh, wherever there was a forest fire, there's a likely chance you got morels popping up there. So I'm gonna rinse these in the salt water till most of the bugs will crawl out. Most of these will go in the dehydrator. Um, it's important that you cook your morels. That last video I did was all about um, the dangers of eating raw morels or undercooked morels. So really, really important to be cooking them, but these are excellent. I was just talking to another guy in the woods who was talking about piping them full of cream cheese and bay shrimp and then baking them. That sounds super awesome. So these are a great edible mushroom you can find in the spring. Basically all of North America morels are popping up and here in the Northwest as well, the burn morels are out. So get your hiking boots on, get out there, go find some burn morels and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.